come the Colonials with some speed underneath all yeah. alone. Ooh, and the little fake move yeah. and the finish, and the Colonials do strike first. I'm not. And it's Eddie Smith. Did they, did they get it? I think they didn't get it in the box. I saw this guy touch it up over here, so I'm not sure what the call was. How about the move? No, there was a from Eddie Smith. He got it all alone in front of the goalkeeper. Faked high. And then released. And Smith puts RMU on top one to zero. Or Bond open. Oh, here's a clean oh. shot. Oh, what a finish. Great pass from Brinkle as he gets it across to Smith. And Smith has his second of the game. That's number 10 of the year. And it's two zip RMU with a minute 32 to go here in the first. Another shot from the kitchen there, right in front. And one more game next weekend uh -oh. against Wagner. There's, trou there's trouble. He's topside. There's the nice curl stop. on the stop. Leading by two here in the second quarter. Look at the oh, point nice. underneath, and it's Smith again. Here comes the shot, and they score. And the Hawks do get on the board. Curl in front, yeah. shot, and the score. Bam, and there you see it just like that. And Ray uses the short. Oh, what a Lasko shot. Waskowitz sneaks in from behind the net <laughs> and goes to oh, the shoes my. for the goal. And Laskowitz gets on the board. And the Colonials get one of those goals back. It's a two-goal lead once again. Jeez. I don't know why he wants to play pro lacrosse. He probably will have a lot of problems up there. Right? <laughs> Jeez. Here comes the Go! Oh, Look get at the room from the high slot and the finish, and it's 5-2. to two. Look at the shot there from Bull. They, they let him come down the middle, down the center of the field. No one, no one. Uh, the seas parted for Bull. Well, no one contested his hands. And he was able to beat the netminder one-on-one. Tiff number one being bumped on the near hash. Tries to work his way in. Now spins and shoots. Oh, no. And stopped by Bukovac, and he presses it to the turf. There's Come trouble. Hawks. This is trouble. Hawks Get a stick numbers. on him. There's the shot yeah. and the score. His hand's free. Here's the shot from way nice save. high and the stop. Still just such a hard thing to gauge how this game is going to go. Nice shot. Oh, there's a shot low in the opposite corner, and the Hawks are back within one. Here's the shot. It was yeah, he got wide. A it was wide, but he got a stick on it. First half. Up. We're going to a zone. And the shot from in, tight, and it's in. Boy, with his back to the goal, the quick spin move and score. And the Colonials. I, I would not play his own wow. against Laskowitz. And Laskowitz from two feet away has his second of the game. Yeah, I agree with you, Bruce. Got to take him out of pressure. Hawks didn't see the ball on the turf. Colonials maintain. Now well, here's Ray. Ray just leaning on his defender who's chopping at him. Ray backing into him now turns and shoots and scores and look at Ray. Ray was being worked on by that, Charles that, Genta. There must be a hole in the outside of the net there, right? Man, oh man. He James had to put Ray. that in a hole in the outside of the net. He might have been doing that just out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Working on that defender, work all over him. He said, take that. There wasn't a space big enough for a ball to go through there, was there? Amazing. I thought it was going to hit the side of the net. I thought it was going to hit the back of the net. Oh, and it's in. Wow. Mono y mono, the shot from Marcus Milion. And the Hawks back within one. That's just a great shot. Hager couldn't find it. And once again, St. Joe's climbs back to within one. Guarded closely, and there's a, oh boy, what a shot from 15 out, and the Hawks are catching fire here. It's Kyle Kane, the sophomore, and we are tied for the first time today since it was zeros on the board. Three straight goals 
for the St. Joe's Hawks. Kane has his second of the game. Oh, 20 yards out. Sneaks in, shoots nice low. Nice stop. Save made, rebound, shot, score. The Colonials find the rebound and score, and they Was get that the lead that back that again. Up? Did Orban pick that up? And it's 8-7. I think it was Smith, but I'm not sure. I think it was Smith who snuck into all that activity in the slot area. And I'm not sure. We'll have to wait for the official score. They mobbed him as soon as they let it go. And it pass goes behind the net to Rockerbond underneath the quick one-timer from Ray. I don't think he even caught it. He just released it back into the goal, and it's 9-7. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. How does the big guy slip in undetected? I haven't seen that play. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that uh, rotation all game. Comes with 13.36 to go in the game. Oh, nice move. There's Bowl. Shoots yeah. and scores. Bowl from 11 out. Oh, what a move. Look at the athleticism from Bowl. And he fired that one past TJ Jones. And it's a three goal lead once again, equaling the biggest lead of the game so far. Nine minutes and 20 seconds to go. Uh-oh. Up high. Here comes the shot. Oh, right nice down. save. Oh, to make the save is Hager. The nice man down. Oh. oh, and slinging it from a tough angle. <laughs> it's Laskowitz again. What a cannon. What a cannon. And Luke Laskowitz gives the Colonials their biggest lead of the day. <laughs> It's 11-7, four straight goals for Robert Morris. Taking a lot of time here though are the Hawks. Now comes the shot and the goal. It's a three goal game as Kyle Kane converts with the man up. Here comes Bowl and a big oh. circle, shoots and scores and Bowl will put the exclamation point on with 2.15 to go as the Colonials start to celebrate. What a shot from Bowl! His second of the quarter and his third of the game. You see, they got that. They got that timeout. They gave. They gave uh, Bowl the ball over there. He had two poles on him. He missed it last year. Here comes yeah. the shot and the score. And James Ray celebrates one more time. With under a minute to go, Colonials celebrate here at the Joe. What a big victory. Look at the celebration. Over the St. Joe's Hawks, and they're going to the NEC. Yeah, you got to feel good for these guys and head coach Andrew McBinn and his whole staff. I mean, this has been a heck of a year, and they started off slow. Well, I'll tell you, just about the time you think you got things figured out, you don't have them figured out.